What is going on, Alpha's Air here for your Sunday, your daily update, where we dissect all things crypto news, crypto Twitter, the charts, all coins, all that fun stuff. Package it up into a sweet little video for you guys every single day. We have the CME with the futures open in here in a few hours, so I figured I'd hop on here. Pretty much going to focus strictly on Bitcoin for this video. Uh, if you want some altcoins, TA and Brian, I got you on StarkNet for tomorrow's video. I'm going to dive into that for you. If you want something specifically TA, drop it down below. I'll get it in tomorrow's video. I figure I just hop on here for a quick, short video. There's no real news. There's nothing going on. We're going to take a look at the events this week, which could sway the markets. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin, try to figure out the key levels, where it might go this evening and into tomorrow, into next week. So without further ado, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on notifications, discord.gg slash alpha air. Let's just hop right into it. Take a look at this, guys. I mean, to start off the week, we don't have much going on. Nothing nothing that's going to really rattle the markets. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there's definitely some possibility for some spice. So 2 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, this is Eastern time, the FOMC decision on the interest rate policy. Fed Chair Powell speaks at 2.30 p.m. We always know there's spice there. We get the GDP on Thursday, and then we get PCE on Friday. These are all things that can move the markets. If these all come in below, above expectations, wherever the market has priced them in, it can definitely move the market. So be prepared for that this week. It is a spicy week. The Federal Reserve will likely raise its target federal funds rate at its meeting this week. Since March, 2022, the central bank has hiked its benchmark 10 times to a target range of five to five and a quarter. Here's a breakdown of what it can mean for you. I'm not going to go through all this, but it would seem like the market's pricing in a 0.25% or 25 basis points hike this coming week, making everything else more expensive as they continue to battle against inflation. There you go. 26 July will be the most important date for traders to watch out for this week. FOMC will set the tone for the stock and crypto markets. At the moment, 99.2% of the market thinks we will get a 25 basis point rate hike. That is what the market is pricing in right now. Here's kind of what crypto Twitter is thinking, and so a lot of it's on my same path of thinking, right? So BTC Sunday update from whoever this is. So plus one month in the same range. That's true. I think that it's very likely that we leave this $2,000 range, I mean, really from about 31.5 to 29.5 this week. That is also possible. You might be wondering what's next. Are we going to go to 28K or 32K? We're going to paint both scenarios for you today. Uh, in this analysis, I'm going to analyze the potential direction and targets for the next big move. Let's see what he thinks. First, let's talk about the FOMC meeting and the narrative. Interest rate decisions will be available to 26. We talked about that. Uh, you know, we know that there is a, you know, almost 100%, <laughs> almost 100% of everyone thinks that it's going to be 25 basis points. It'll take us up to 5.5%. Powell, Powell will justify the hike by saying the inflation is still far away from the Fed's 2% target. It is um, because the labor market is still very, very strong. It is. I'll talk this week about the future U.S. inflation problem, blah, blah, blah. Intrade hikes are good for the DXY. So it has been railing this week in anticipation of the FOMC. People pricing in the hike, as we talked about. We mentioned the idea of the XY planning a deviation sub 100 psychological level, and it seems that this is currently happening as happening as long as it holds now. Um, I called a BTC pump during the weekend because BTC Bitcoin can't pump during the weekdays with a strong DXY. Plus, many traders opening shorts in anticipation of a red week with the FOMC. So the trap was set a pump before going lower to grab that upside liquidity first. Is that what's happening right now today? A little pump grabs that upside before coming back down. Um, you know, here's what I was going to show you on the charts. I mean, we got lots of liquidity down here at 29K. We came up, we grabbed all this liquidity up there. Um, so this is my chart at the moment. So he thinks we're going down. So he thinks that, you know, we might pump into the meeting, pump up. Here, here's what happens. Two o'clock rolls around. Interest rate comes out. We always pump up. It happens for the last five times. You pump up, you grab that liquidity up there, you pump down, and typically you fall right back in line with where you were pre-meeting. And then that's where the real decision, that's where the market makes the real decision. So we could still see this squeeze going slightly higher to become a deviation above the mid-range the next 24 hours. Tuesday should be boring since market will probably wait one more day for the FOMC. 
And if Powell's speech is hawkish on Wednesday, a drop is next. That's definitely true. Definitely, definitely true. So I personally don't like to trade FOMC days. I like to wait and see what the market's going to do. Um, right now, it looks like we got just a liquidity, you know, little little bit of a liquidity bump to the top side here. You can see where these orders were that we went up for. Smashed, didn't really hit that 3,400 level, which is pretty much the ceiling right now. You can see we came just short of it, didn't grab it. So there's still this liquidity sitting up here, right? So you can see 3,400's thick and 3,100, 3,500. Below us, it's 29.5 and that's 500 increments you know, steps down 29, 28, 5, 28. So this week, if everything comes in perfectly, if, if, you know, Powell is dovish, he's saying, Hey, we're getting everything under control. You know, there's nothing bad. Everything's good. Paints, you know, a picture of peaches and cream and rainbows, right. And, and unicorns we're going up. If it's the opposite and he's hawkish, we're, we're coming down guys. We're, we're, we're definitely going to be coming down. Now, 29,500 is that line in the sand. That is that key level you need to watch. So far, it has been defended and it's been defended in this range. One, two, three, four, five times we have come down. One, two, three, four, five times we have licked that 29,500 liquidity and bounced off of it. Bulls have defended it. So if we do not hold this, that is where you start to flip to true bearish, right? Where we lose this range. We have been in this range now for a month plus. So 29,500 is that line in the sand everyone needs to watch going into FOMC this week. If we can get up to 3,400 and we clear out that liquidity there, I would expect a little bit of a pullback. We might actually see this week a touch in, to clear out. We might get a fake out. We might get a touch up to that $3,100 level again if, if we can cross that $30,438 level. So this level here is like your glass ceiling. This 29.5 is your glass floor. So if we clear those out, which we could, we tried today. Bears obviously defended it. We didn't get all the way up there to clear it out. Now it's coming back down, right? It's coming back down today so far this afternoon here. So we'll have to look to this evening, see what Asia does, and then open up into the markets in the morning. But really the two main levels that I'm looking at is the 29.5 and that 34. If we clear out that 34, I would expect us to pull back, right? and then try, they're gonna try to make a run for that liquidity at 31,000. I don't know that we get all the way up there. I don't know that this week is gonna be super interesting until we get to the FOMC meeting. Everyone's just gonna be waiting for that. That's pretty much it today, guys. I just wanted to get you out there, get you those key levels. I'm not gonna dissect this too much because it's an interesting week. I will have a more full-fledged video tomorrow. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. If you want something specifically TA, drop it down below. Hop in Discord, discord.gg slash alpha air. Appreciate everyone for watching. Those are the key levels to watch. This is That's what's going to happen on Wednesday. You're going to see it pump up 2 p.m. and then start pumping down afterwards to fall kind of right in line. You can get the liquidity licks up either way. Going into it, you're probably going to see, which we did today, probably another pump up to 30,400 to try to clear up that liquidity because we pumped up there, but we didn't get quite to that finish line to clear that out. So nothing has changed. We're in the same spot, kind of a boring range. This week should hopefully shake us outside that range one way or the other. It needs to happen. We have got to hit one of these bigger liquidity pools here soon, one way or another, right? We got to either come down to 29.5 or 31 or 31.5. It's got to happen. So depending on what Powell says and you know, PCE and the GDP and all that stuff. It should be an interesting week. So pay attention. I'll be here all week. More full-fledged video coming out tomorrow. Appreciate you guys. Later.